All right, my name is Daniel Mills. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a little bit of behind the scenes of a bowling alley. Uh, I work in a bowling alley called Karen Pullman's Pro Shop and Bowling Center. It's in Sandy. Um, it's been there for about seven years. So uh, my jobs at the bowling alley, um, my two jobs are I'm a mechanic, so I work on the back of the machinery, and then I also work in the pro shop drilling bowling balls and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go over what I do there, uh, and then we're going to go over uh, a little bit of aspects and what uh, I've learned throughout the years that have really helped me to do my job. So as a mechanic, uh, it's really honestly pretty boring. You just sit in the back. Um, behind the bowling lanes, there's just area behind the machines where uh, parts and stuff are stored and stuff like that. Um, basically how a bowling machine works is uh, the ball hits the pins and then the ball and the pins both fall into a pit. And then there's two wheels. One wheel spins this way and one spin spins this way. One carries the ball up and then the other one has little grooves in it that carry the bowling pins up and then sets it onto a track and then drops the pins into these little buckets which then you set the pins down for you and then you do it all over again. Um, so basically my job is just to sit in the back. Um, if there's any problems with the lanes, the bowlers report it to the desk and they call back to me and I go and fix the problem. It's usually pretty easy stuff. Um, and they usually don't break, break very often, so uh, I don't really have to get my hands too dirty. So, uh, um, next, the, uh, the pro shop. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, most people don't really think of a pro shop when you think of a bowling alley. Um, what I do in the pro shop is uh, I basically sell bowling balls. And what does everyone come in and ask me when they come in to buy a bowling ball? They say, what's the difference in bowling balls? Well, the difference in bowling balls um, bowling balls are made up of two parts. There's a core inside of a bowling ball. I actually have one here. Um, this is a core inside of a bowling ball. They can be in all kinds of different shapes. Um, and basically, what a core does is uh, it can be positioned in the bowling ball so that when the ball spins, it actually helps the ball gain momentum and hook more. Uh, the other part of the bowling ball that helps it hook is the outside, the cover stock. It can, it's made of uh, a reactive resin, and uh, it it's basically just works to grip the lane. Uh, it's like a snow tire through snow, basically. Um, so uh, there's two ways to drill a bowling ball. You can drill it conventionally, which is where people put their fingers in all the way to the middle joint on your finger. Um, and that's what bowling balls at a, at a bowling alley are, because they're all conventional. Um, and then when you get a little bit better, you go to what's called the finger tip, finger tip drilling. And that's where you only put it into your very first knuckle right here. Um, the purpose of that is so that when you roll the ball, you can get more leverage. And, uh, and spin the ball more, and that's what everyone wants to see when they go bowling, is to see how much their ball can hook, right? So, uh, so what we do is, first off, we measure your hand. Um, I write a little sheet, this is what we use to measure your hand and write all the measurements on. Um, the three aspects of the hand that we measure are the span, which is the distance between your thumb and your fingers, uh, and then pitches. Uh, in a bowling ball, the holes are not straight down. Um, if the holes went straight down, then they would actually hit each other, so, uh, which is bad because then they'll crack and stuff like that, and uh, bowling balls aren't supposed to crack. So you actually have to angle the, the holes at an a angle so that they don't run into each other. Um, and then the last thing we measure is the hole sizes. We want to make sure that the, the finger holes fit your fingers and the thumb hole fits your thumb, so you're not <coughs> flying down the lane when you're trying to roll your ball. So uh, uh, the last thing we do when we're drilling bowling balls is we put what's called a layout on the bowling ball. Um, like I mentioned before, the core inside of a bowling ball can be manipulated. Um, there's markings on the outside of the ball to tell us where the core is and that we can position this core anywhere like underneath your fingers to make it so that when you roll it, it'll do different things. You can make it hook a lot, you can make it hook not a lot. So, uh, and how we drill it is it's just basically a drill press, a standard drill press with a, a jig on it specifically designed for bowling balls. Um, and we put just a T on the bowling ball to tell us where to drill the fingers and where to drill the thumb. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So uh, some of the things that have helped me a lot, uh, basically when people come in, I become a salesman. I'm trying to sell them a bowling ball. I'm trying to tell them what bowling ball to get. So um, actually this class has helped me a lot uh, in doing that job just because uh, I, I deal a lot with people, with customer service and stuff like that. Uh, it's made me more comfortable talking to people and more comfortable telling them what I know about these bowling balls and stuff like that. Um, another thing that really helps me is just being properly trained. Um, honestly, any job you go to, being trained well um, really helps out. If you can do your job, then uh, it's going to help. Uh, I, I have really good coworkers. Um, I work with the owner personally. Um, she's been at it for years. I also work with another guy named John. He's, he's great. He's been on the PBA tour. Uh, he's drilled bowling balls for 50 years. He's really good. If I have any questions, I go right to him. Uh, so it's a pretty sweet gig. So at the end of the day, it's all about just making the customers happy. So thank you.